Hello, my lovelies and my beauties. My name is Andrea and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, as in Monday, I am working from home. I am doing, um, in my job, we do hybrid. Well, the department I work in, we're doing hybrid. So on Mondays and Wednesdays, I work from home. Um, I will be going to lunch very soon. The time by now is 1.39 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am going to make a quick video, as promised in my last video, of me um, showing the swatch of the Hourglass waterproof gel eyeliner in the shade chestnut and i'm briefly going to compare that to the victoria beckham bordeaux satin kajal eyeliner because i thought this was going to look similar to that and i'm actually glad it doesn't look similar because i am loving this color way more than the bordeaux the bordeaux one the bordeaux one is nice but this is not one of victoria beckham's best um shades from this line as that it does uh run especially if you put it on the water line or even the lower lash line it does run well it has happened to me and i've known and i've heard of other people also complaining about that as well so um before i get started i have no foundation on the only thing i'm wearing and i'm actually loving how this looks is this bobby brown um, what do you call a color corrector in the shade very deep peach? I know I mentioned this in past videos. I really love this color corrector. I just have it around the nose here under my eyes and I put a dot here, here and just around my mouth. I do not have it around here and I put a little dot there, but nowhere else on my face, no foundation, no concealer. So this really does the job for me. And I'm looking at my vanity mirror. I love how my skin is looking. So now let me show you the hourglass. This is chestnut. Oh yeah, just so you know, guys are aware, this does have a retra retractable bottom so you could um, pull it up or pull it down, that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna pull it up a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys a swatch. So that's a very pretty color. It's like a deep, um, a deep burgundy, close to maroon. And then let's compare that real quick to the Victoria Beckham Bordeaux. So this is much lighter, but this one is nice. So I'm going to do a quick smoky eye look with this, and then I'm going to be leaving for lunch at 2 o'clock. So I'm going to put it all over my lid first, and then I'm going to take my smudge brush and smudge it out. I don't know what's this is on my brush. Okay. Nice and quick because I love eyeliners like that where it's so creamy and blendable on the eye. A very pretty shade. Very pretty. And then I'm just going to put some of my waterline down here. you guys see that looks really nice and um, I'm gonna put a little bit on my lower lash line too and like smoke it out and put some there and then I'm gonna smoke it out a bit I hope everyone's day is coming along well and I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye And today, I do plan on returning the hourglass green one that I mentioned in another video that I was going to return um, in the shade Forest. It's just not the green that I expected. I'm going to put it on the waterline. I know this is not the morning time, so I can't really test out the longevity too much today. But I really like how it's it's creamy and it glides just actually I feel this glides smoother on my eyes compared to even the Pat McGrath one. You know what I'm saying? Let me just clean this up a bit. Um
because I always like to have like this kind of like winged up like that. Okay, a product. I mean, don't get me wrong, Hourglass do have some nice uh, makeup, but to be honest, I don't have a lot of Hourglass makeup products other than I do love their translucent setting powder, but it's just expensive. I do like their translucent setting powder. Of course, I love the Hourglass primer. What is this red stuff on it? Okay, that was lipstick. <laughs> I love the Hourglass primer. Um... They do, oh yeah, I did, I used to have, but I don't have it anymore, the Scattered Lights Glitter Eyeshadow Pots. Those were really nice as well. I'm just going to get a black eyeliner. Let me use the Pat McGrath black eyeliner. Um, what else I like from Hourglass? Um, they do have nice, those blushed um, sticks, I think that's what it was. It's nice, but I just feel it was a tad bit overpriced, but you know, you're paying for Hourglass. Hourglass is never cheap or affordable they're usually expensive you know and i really like i i i i really like another reason why and i, I probably mentioned this in previous videos another reason why i like eyeliners where you can blend it out so nice and easy but yet it's it has good longevity on the eyes is when you when i'm on the go like going to work or let's say anywhere else i could do a quick look and be like bam wham and then i'm done i'm using this as a lacombe mascara primer i love this you know which one is good too, but I don't feel it's as good as this one. The, um, the, what's it? Tarte. The Tarte Eyelash Opener Mascara Primer. This is the Eve St. Laurent Volumizing Mascara. And then I'm just going to combine the, um, oh yeah, I do like the Hourglass Mascara. I forgot about that too. This is instant extensions mascara that's a message um on my work computer i'm still um my danessa myrix product by the way has not been delivered yet um I'm, I'm really hoping that it doesn't get delivered while i'm on lunch because i will be leaving my house for an hour <laughs> or close to an hour and i'm gonna be upset if they attempt to deliver it and i'm not here because i went on lunch you know what i'm saying I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. I am so hungry. So hungry. So you guys get a closer look. I'm just going to put a little bit more and like smudge it out. And the same here. Am I using the right one? Let me make sure this is chestnut. Yeah, it is. I think I put too much here. Well, it's not too much. It's just deeper. So let me just even this out. This is far away. And this is up close. I'm just going to put some more of this um, color corrector right here. Let me see. 
look at this color corrector. It is doing the damn thing. Like you don't even, I don't even need concealer. That is a miracle for me, boy. I tell you. Oh, this is my, this is my holy grail color corrector. This Bobbi Brown. Like seriously. I'm looking in the vanity mirror. This looks good. This looks good. Um, if I want, I could just put concealer around the nose area just to perfect it a tad bit more. I have 10 minutes. I think I might more than, I'll do that. I think I might do that. Um, I'll be right back. Let me get, is this a concealer? Is this it? Yeah. So I'm going to use, hmm, which one should I use? Let me use my Kat Von D one. Just like around the nose area. I didn't mean to put that much, but let's see. Let's see how this turns out. Something's about to fall. Sorry. Okay. Just like here, a little bit. Let me see how this. And I'm gonna put a little bit under the eye area. Although it looks well, but just to like perfect it a tad bit more. Or make it a little bit more flawless but yet natural if anyone's wondering that nomad palette that i had had past tense um what was called paradise island i'm gonna be honest and frank i really was not feeling that palette it's i mean what grab what gravitated me to it was the bright colors but then as I was like playing with it, I just felt it lacked deeper shades. Like for me personally, I like a palette where there's a combination of light, medium, and deep shades because I like to use three of those variations of shades to create my eye looks at times. So I ended up returning it, I'm being honest. So, I mean, I do, I will be buying other Nomad palettes in, very soon, but that one, that Paradise Venus, which is your newest one, I wasn't feeling it. So it got, I returned it. <laughs> Um, let me see. So I'm going to go for a more natural look. I got nine. Is, wait a minute. Hold on. Sorry about that. I didn't notice. That. I didn't realize what I was doing would, would end the video. But I have like 10 minutes. Um, let's, let's, let me put on this blush. Let me see how it is with just a cream shade of this one size, um, blush trio. And this, I'm getting a call. Let me tell them I'll call them back. Okay. Actually, I'll call them like when I go to lunch. Let me just see how this looks. Concerned I have no foundation on. Oh, I like this. Okay. I might just leave it with the with the cream since I'm using creams and I, I didn't set my face with anything. Yeah. I'll probably just leave it like this. Just to give it a, a flush of color. I'm looking in the vanity mirror too. Oh, my friend. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, sorry, guys. Let me go. I, hold on. So sorry, because my friend texts me saying it's important, but they can wait 10 minutes. It's not like an emergency. Emergency, You know, it's not an emergency. But see, this is nice. Adding a flush of color there, giving it this natural look. Um, let me see. Because since I'm using cream products... Um, let me get my Fenty stick and use that maybe as a bronzer and like around here to kind of add a little bit more dimension to my face. I'll be back again. Okay, so I got my Fenty Match Stick in the shade Espresso. Just to add a little bit of um, dimension to my face. Hopefully it does. <laughs> Okay, it is, it is.
Is that the mailman? Because I'm expecting a package also from the post office. And I am getting sick of the post office. They claimed they yesterday they did attempt to deliver um, this item, but I wasn't home. And then they claimed they left a slip. No one left a slip. You know, I'm just tired of the post office. Um, sorry for anyone out there if you might work for UP USPS, but I've been ha I had a lot of bad experiences with USPS boy, and um, I am not fond of their services whatsoever. Um, believe me, where I ordered, where I placed this order at, I wish they would use UPS or FedEx. Um, cause typically even when I mail products to people or, um, yeah, I use FedEx or UPS. I think I'm gonna use my liquid highlighter, which is my Becca highlighter. Hold on a second again. So I'm gonna put on, yeah, let me get the Becca highlighter. Okay, I got my Becca highlighter. This is the liquid, um, what is this called? Becca Ignite liquid highlighter. What shade is this again? I put a little bit too much. I put too much. It's just strength. It's just strength. I put too much, but let's see. Oh, I didn't mean to put it there. A nice glow. Mm -hmm. I am really looking forward to this Danessa Myrick's product getting delivered, and I really do hope it gets delivered today. And I don't miss it. And I don't. Yeah, I'm really hoping I don't miss the delivery. Let me wipe this off because I have put too much of this liquid highlighter. So let me pull down my hair. Let me see if I want to leave my hair like this. It's a mess. And I'm wearing the Pat McGrath satin lipstick in the shade Entranced. Just real quick, although I know I've done a swatch of it already. That's what I'm wearing. That's what I have on. And I have appeared with the Anastasia um, lip liner in the shade Malt. Malt. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I'll be back. I'm trying to figure out how to do how to do my hair. I'll be back. So I decided to just do my hair like this. I just put it to the side, that kind of thing. Well, it's time for me to go, kiddos. Um, I want to say thank you for anyone who watched this video. Please remember to stay tuned for um, uh, my video of the Danessa Myricks Foundation Balm and the Wayne Goss, which is supposed to be delivered tomorrow to Wayne Goss. Today, the Danessa Myricks. And... Um, yeah, stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new and if you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe button. And please feel free to join me on my Instagram page. Hope everyone's enjoying their day and bye.